Welcome to another VAC Saturday session. In this episode, we're going to talk about damper weight. You ever wonder how much a factory S55 crank damper weighs? And we're going to we're going to weigh it for you and you're going to get the numbers. 8.6. Now we're going to give you a comparison to the ATI VAC ATI damper. Eight point eight five. So you got about a quarter pound difference between the two. So how much does mass matter? Mass does matter, but sometimes it's insignificant. What matters about mass is where the mass is located. Look at the diameter of these two. When you look at the diameter, you can see that the ATI is significantly smaller in diameter. So although it weighs a quarter pound more, this will spool up faster. The engine will spool up faster with this because it's a smaller diameter. The analogy would be if you took a bucket of water and put a gallon in it and tried to do full swings, it'll probably rip your arm off. Or if you go like this, you can do it much, much easier. So same thing here. The term for it, the engineering term, is moment of inertia. So the smaller the moment of inertia, the faster something can spin. And that's basically the difference. But you know, you use a damper because you want to save your crankshaft, you want to save your engine. But there's also added benefits to it. ATI dampers are tunable. They have an inertia ring here. There's O-rings between the inertia ring and the outer shell and between the inertia ring and the inner shell. And between the face of the shell and the ring. So that's how they dampen. If for any reason you have harmonics issues, they are tunable and they are rebuildable. So you buy an ATI damper, you buy it for life. Hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like and follow VAC Motorsports. Any questions, drop them down below. Thanks for watching.